<clears throat> Expo, if you're watching this, you know what to do. I'm running out of I'm running out of good markers here. I need some new colors. The only good markers I have are green, red, orange, and brown. And no one uses brown. Brown is boring. Plus, red and orange look like each other. And green, well, green's hard to erase off a board. Looks like boogers. This video is not sponsored by Expo. But I wish it was. Expo, send me some new pins. All right, we are here for the Strength in Depth event number 2A and 2B. So what is it? First off, There it is, ladies and gents. There it is. So let's walk through it real fast. What do we have, what do we have, what do we have? First off, we've got five minutes to find a one rep max clean, okay, from the floor. Um, I didn't really look in the rules. I'm pretty sure you can probably power clean it also. I'm pretty sure it doesn't have to be a full clean, but obviously um, your full clean should be heavier than your power clean. If not, you probably got some squat issues to work out. So good luck with that. Okay, so five minutes to find a watermax clean. After that, you have a one minute rest or transitional period. Essentially, you've taken off all your apparatus, your knee sleeves, your shoes, your straps, or not straps, like your thumb tape, whatever you, whatever you use. Okay, one minute rest. And then at the six minute mark, until the 13 minute mark, you have a seven minute time cap. We are doing 21 pull-ups, 15 thrusters, 15 chest to bar, 15 thrusters, nine bar muscle-ups, 15 thrusters, and the thruster weight is something weird. It's like 137.5 pounds. I believe that's like 62.5 kilos or something like that. Well, hold on, I got a, I got a phone. Yes, guys, my background is my dog in gla with glasses. 37.5 divided by 2.2. Yeah, I'm not really sure what we're doing 62.5 kilos. Feels like Everyone who uses the metric system in the world is out to get us Americans this year, but I digress. That's the general overarching workout. So let's jump into each piece. So first off, the clean. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. Um, these being the fact that instead of doing a workout for time and then with time remaining in the time cap, you find a one rep max clean or two rep max something or a three rep max something or whatever, Instead, they're putting it in the front. For those of us who don't lift very heavy, I did not like the beginning of this workout. Five minutes to find a water max clean. Um, there are some certain stipulations with it. Um, your bar had to begin empty, so you couldn't warm up and then just start the camera and the clock and hit your left. You had to start empty. Um, you can have people help you load your bar, which I definitely did. You have to have clips, which I had clips. Everyone on my and my Instagram when I hit 355. That was not during the workout, okay? That was before the workout. Everyone's like, yeah, where are your clips at? Where are your clips at? Hey, yo, clip police, chill out, okay? No one cares, all right? So you don't need clips. But if you're doing it in the workout, you need clips. And I had clips, and I used them. They had some weird rule that you could only make jumps of 1.25 per side meaning 2.5 pounds total, or essentially a kilo. You could only jump by kilos increments, so you couldn't add one pound plates, which is like a fractional plate for a kilo, which uh, I didn't have to worry about, so whatever, okay? So what I'd recommend for your clean is what I, what I did was I warmed up, hit a bunch of lifts. Um, I had down a, a bunch of lifts, you know, I'm gonna hit this, I'm gonna hit this, I'm gonna hit this, hit this, and then I had down a goal weight, right? So I was like, hey, I'm, I wanna hit that for my, for my, I wanna hit this for my video. So then I made sure that um, I hit this before the video. If I felt really, really solid about it, um, then I was like, cool. Then I, I started at the camera, I stripped my bar down, and then I smashed that, the, the goal I wanted to hit. Of course, if you hit this weight here, so the third before, you know, and it didn't feel so great or so solid, then I would recommend starting your camera and hitting both these lifts. Because you have five minutes. 
right? So you could easily hit a lift at the 40 second mark because you got the figure, you're gonna be loading your bar, right? You're gonna have to have people load your bar and that's not, that's gonna take a little bit of time. So you can, you can hit a lift at your, at your 40 second marks, that's your first lift, right? And that's this one right here. And then you can hit your second lift at, you know, at, at 320 or whatever, and that's your second lift, and that's the, the star lift you wanna hit. And, and you still have, you know, at that point, if you hit your lift at 320, and you know, you get done at four, depending upon how long it takes you to stand out of the hole, I guess, you still have two minutes of transitional time before you start the next workout, which is a lot of time. Um, I would recommend not hitting your final lift at like the four minute and 30 second mark because you, know, you might stand it up and that's awesome and you might hit a PR and that's awesome, but then you only have one minute of transition time before you have to start the workout and that may not be enough time to, um, you know, depending upon what, what you're wearing, strip your shoes off, strip your knee sleeves off, you know, take your tape off, put grips on, prepare for yourself for the fact that you're about to do a, a pretty nasty Metcon. So I would say, um, Either approach it how I did, I did one lift in five minutes. You know, I felt good hitting this lift, okay, which was actually a PR for me. Um, that was the clipless lift. And then, um, and then I started the camera, shut my bar down, uh, loaded my bar, and then smashed this lift right here. And so I hit one lift in five minutes and I was done. So at the one minute mark on the clock, um, I had four minutes of, I have four minutes left, plus another minute of transition time, so I chilled. I had a good time and drank some water, made some jokes, and pretty much regretted the fact I had to do thrusters pretty soon. So that's how I did it, um, this way. I also recommend this way. I would say don't do three lifts, and I would say, again, stay away from lifting very near the end of the five minutes, because you really need that transitional time to prepare yourself, so. Yeah, pretty simple, Wonder Max clean. Uh, you're gonna see a lot of, you're gonna see a lot of really huge lifts put up, um, really, really large lifts, and then you'll probably see those guys that hit those really, really large lifts not do too well at the Metcon. Give and take, give and take, the beauty of CrossFit. Okay, what's next? Okay, we obviously have that one minute rest um, or transitional period, right? And then we're going into 21 pull-ups, 15 thrusters, 15 chest -to bar 15 thrusters, wow, this seems familiar. Nine bar muscle ups and 15 thrusters. Let's harken back to what I talked about in my two minutes of just like my first thoughts on this workout. Um, obviously, I think I said it was a sprint. It is a sprint. Um, I think I said go unbroken on the thrusters if you can. I went unbroken on the thrusters because I could and I also went unbroken on all the gymnastics pieces. So I pretty much, um, stuck to what I said in my first thoughts. I don't think I stuck to what I said in my first thoughts pertaining to the clean, because I only have one left and not two. Um, but anyways, so for this workout, we're approaching it. It is a sprint. We are going ham. It's kind of a little rendition of Fran, right? So we've got 21.59. Um, the thrushers are still add up to 45 reps in total. It's just they're not decreasing. It's not 21 thrushers and then 15. The nine is 15 every time, which kind of sucks. Honestly, it was kind of terrible. And then of course, the opposite direction is it's inverted. So instead of doing thrushers first, we're doing gymnastics first, which was kind of sucky. Um, I would have preferred to have started off with thrusters. Um, and the reason for that being is just like I talked about my first thoughts, this little section right here blows pretty bad. Um, so anyways, we got, we'll start from the top, right? Um, first of all, how it fits into the clean, but I would recommend you're not gonna have to really worry about your thrusters. Make sure you warp your overhead positioning is really the only difference, but you're not gonna have to warm up your bottom position for thrusters or your squats because you're already squat cleaning. Unless, of course, you're power cleaning, then that's another issue. You should look into that. But um, you have to warm up your overhead positioning for thrusters is really it, and then also your gymnastics. Um, I did that in between my clean lifts. So when I was uh, nearing like 70 to 80% on my clean lifts, I put on gymnastics scripts and I started hitting a couple pull-ups in between sets, a couple chest bar, a couple bar muscle ups. You gotta make sure you don't roll into this completely cold. Um, and uh, you don't also wanna like warm this up and then warm up all your cleans and then hit your clean and then do this. That might be too much time in between. Of course, if you only hit one lift in the five minutes, 
You also are gonna probably have four to five minutes of rest time, so maybe warm it up then. Like, it's totally up to you, um, but you're not gonna have to worry about your thrusters because your already bottom position should be warm. The only thing you gotta worry about is your overhead positioning and the gymnastics, right? So, uh, jumping into the workout. It's, I don't really know how to walk through this for tips, really, it's a sprint. Um, if you can go unbroken, I recommend you go unbroken. Essentially, it's a push-pull, right? We're pushing our thrusters, we're pulling for gymnastics. Find someone to count for you. That's what I did because you're going at a pretty good click. I would have lost count. I would have probably done either less reps or more reps or just miscounted because it's going at a pretty good click. I think for my thrusters, like we've talked about in the past, we talk about um, quick uh, with Quick with uh, little rest, I think is what I'm, or maybe it's fast with quick rest, you get the point. But we also talk about slow reps with no rest. I believe I went for slow reps and no rest. The first two sets, and then I think my last set, I went for quick with little rest because I was just brain dead at that point. I was like, I don't know what's going on. If you're trying to go to London and you're trying to qualify for strength and depth, then you've got to go unbroken. There's no doubt about that. You shouldn't be dropping that bar. You shouldn't be dropping off the, the, the rig unless you rip your hands. You should be able to knock out 21 pull-ups unbroken. Absolutely no problem. I would recommend you treat the gymnastics as a rest piece. Um, I would recommend not going as fast as you possibly can in the gymnastics because you need to be able to breathe through that because you're gonna need to come back to these thrusters. And like I mentioned, the worst part of this workout is the fact that it's gymnastics heavy in the beginning, and then at the end it's thruster heavy because of the decreasing gymnastics reps. So at the end you're doing 15 thrusters, you're getting off, you're shaking up, you're jumping up, knocking out nine bar muscle ups, which is, which is pretty taxing, and then you're getting off and you're going back to 15 thrusters. That's the worst part of the workout, and this is where you're gonna have to really push through. But anyways, it was a really cool little couplet. Um, it was sucky, it reminded me of Fran. I had Fran cough at the end, it was, it was Fran-ish, if that's a word, very Fran-ish. But yeah, it was, I think it was a good workout by Strength and Depth. It was different, you put the clean first, which is different than a lot of competitions you do, or online qualifiers, so, you know, kudos to them for trying something new. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them below, um, I'll be responding to all those. If you are attempting this in the next day, good luck, go crush it. Um, I'm leaving here, I'm going to the gym, and we're gonna knock out qualifying event number one, which is the row, the toes, the bar, and the power snatch. And so I should have the tips related to that video up tomorrow, hopefully, um, when I film it. And so, yeah, guys, good luck, have fun, um, crush the workouts, get yourself a clean PR, go crush this, get yourself a little Fran cough. You deserve it, you deserve it. Good luck, have fun, thanks for watching.